CarolineVinsel.com here. I am here today with Willow. She will not leave my side, and so you might see her inside of the videos. Um, but there's a lot of amazing things that I want to talk to you guys about. So before we get started, make sure that you like this video, comment if you liked it, let me know if you have any questions, and don't forget to check out a bunch of the freebies inside of the description below. There's a bunch of links for you to learn more and get more help that you need. So let's get on into it. Miranda says, I had a sale flop last week, and I'm wondering if it was the name of a product. I ran a sale on my literature guide for some reading using my beautiful new sales page and had no sales this time. Okay. Huh. Is that the name of the product is the literature guide? Cause I, I think I might agree with you on that one. The name of the product. I mean, even for, for like, let's think really quick about like, if we're talking about books. Okay. So let's see if I can show you guys my, my very, very sad looking bookshelf over here. Okay. We're, we're going to go somewhere with this. Okay. Start with why I'm already, my interest is piqued just by the title. The fact that it's, it's shiny and metallic and red and catches my attention is a completely separate thing, but the title itself caught my attention. The power of habit. You don't even need, I don't even need to read the back cover of it because I know that I habit affects everything in life and the funny guys on the wheel make sense to me positioning all of the funky words. But again, I know what this is about and I know that it's going to help me. All of these books, and there's there's more, I promise. I do have actual books on my bookshelf. <laughs> They're not just props. All of these different books that we we read and everything like that, why do we pick them up? It's because of the way that the title sounds. That's the first thing. You say like, I have a book about blank and it's called blank. That's the first words out of our mouths. And it really, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, we all hear, you hang on, hang on. We all hear, let's see if this will work. Hold. Come on, camera. Okay. Oh, my hair's not helping it either. Good. There we go. Um, we all hear not to judge a book by its cover, but at the end of the day, we all judge books by their cover. And we all judge books by their title. We just do. It's one of those annoying things about being human is like we do these things and we say not to do them, but we do them anyway. Um, literature guide for um, Hattie Big Sky pertains to a great read aloud book. Ooh, okay. So let's see. Um, is it just for the one book? Because you could do, you know, read along, teach your children to read along with Hattie Sky or Hattie Big Sky. Um, I don't read nearly enough. That's, this is my disclaimer is I don't read nearly enough. Um, but naming stuff. Yeah. Try it out. Try a different launch with a different name. And maybe here's the thing as we're into July at this point, if we're talking about, um, urgency, like creating a sense of urgency or seasonal things, if you're talking about like summer reading lists, kids are kind of done with the summer reading lists. We're, you know, we're getting to the end of the summer. My hair is doing crazy things. I apologize. We're getting to the end of the summer at this point. So by being inside of the season itself and then asking people to buy something about this current season where we only have, you know, four weeks left or something inside of that season. It's kind of like with um, Halloween posts. If you have a blog post about Halloween and you're like, oh, I really want this to rank for SEO. And it's October. 23rd. Chances are it's not going to get the same kind of response if you had done it in instead of, you know, October 23rd or something. If you had done it in September, you might have had more people signing up for it. It's just like right now is a really good time because if we're in we're at the beginning of July. I had to really think about what month we were in. If we're at the beginning of July, we know that people are, are already gearing up for back to school stuff. We know that that's coming. We know that right now I'm already, oh, this hurt. This hurt. Ladies, I did my analytics the other day. I looked at my Google analytics. You want to know what post I started to see creeping up the stats again? Christmas posts. It is July. <laughs> 
It's July. Why? But it's the same kind of thing. It doesn't necessarily, I don't think that the title itself of your blog post or of your product was the problem. I don't think that that was necessarily it. Could it have been a contributing factor? Yes. But do I think that the bigger issue was just the fact that right now people are not, we're on like the downswing of summer. So in the upswing of summer, people are starting to think about like, what can I do with the kids? What kind of activities do they need? What kind of um, reading stuff can I get for them? But now that we're on the downswing, people are less concerned about like summer activities and more concerned about school more concerned about getting their kids ready for school, more concerned about the next thing that's coming. So if you're trying to like just going forward in the future, can you reframe it to instead of it being a summer reading list, could it just be over that one book or multiple books or something like that um, moving forward? And instead of it being a seasonal thing, you want to make it evergreen. If you could do that, I think that you would see your conversion rates bump up a lot. I think that if you can do something where it feels like, um, encouraging. Let's see. So if we're talking about like a homeschool curricula, um, yes, make fresh pins for your sales page for homeschool curriculum for back to school. Yes, absolutely. Oh my gosh. Start that, start that today. Like after this call, start it immediately. That's a good reminder, by the way. Thank you for that, Miranda. If you, this is the time guys, if you have fall posts, Halloween posts, back to school posts, even Thanksgiving posts. Now is the time to start optimizing them for that upcoming season. Now is the time right now. (coughs) Excuse me. Because um, if you are wanting to get that out there and hopefully rank for something with SEO or just get more eyes on it on Pinterest, those kinds of things are starting to creep up in the ranking right now already blows my mind every time. (laughs) Um, so yes, that's, that's my long and short answer to that. Okay. All right, guys. I hope that that helped. Willow and I are signing off for the day. Don't forget to leave your comment. If you have any more questions, don't forget to like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.